Hello, this is Kelly with Indiana Anchor Plans. Welcome to my channel. Today we are going to do a back to school single page because my six of my seven grandkids went back to school this past week. So I have these pictures that I want to work with. And I just came out with a new set, back to school set this week. So this is the script with the icons. These were already in the shop. Extra one of those. Then I have this sheet. This sheet. And then I didn't have one of these printed, but have a smaller deco sheet with a buzz, a pencil, crayons, glue. So that is what I'm gonna use for this. And I also pulled some black and white striped washi from Live Love Posh. And I pulled a couple other sticker sheets as well. I pulled these back to or these um, school frames that are in the shop. And this sheet is also in the shop. And this spot says first day of school. And then I pulled these, so you've got two different sizes of icons. So if you just search school in my shop, all of these and more will come up. So let's see, let's start with some washi at the bottom. So if you had kids or grandkids that have gone back to school yet, I think mine went back um, August 6th. So it just seemed like summer was so short this year. Seems like it gets shorter every year. It's like, you know, back in my day, we didn't go to school until after Labor Day. It's like they just keep cutting the kids' summer shorter and shorter. Okay, I like that, so let's put it across the top too. And if you're new, this is sized for a classic sized happy planner or kind of a plan planner. I have a special book that I've put together um, with extra covers and discs that I put all of my single pages in. So, and I didn't pull my 2024 stickers. Okay, so, and if you watched one of my other videos, when I first introduced this sheet, and I was going to flip the school bus, I flipped the school bus, not thinking that school bus was going to be backwards. So it's now flipped back around. So both buses are facing the same direction. I don't know why my brain didn't think of that at the time, but it did not. Okay, so I want to put this across the top. And these are available in the shop. And if you follow me on social media, you will. There's a sale starting Saturday the 17th going through Sunday the 25th. So be sure to follow me in my Facebook group or um, on Instagram. Okay, so if we... So those are my oldest daughter's children. That's my youngest daughter's children. And this is my son's stepdaughter, which is, um, my son is my youngest. So then we have, she's a senior, he's sixth, she's a sophomore, he's sixth, he's pre-K, and she's sixth. So do I wanna put, a bus down here. Do I want to put 
schoolhouse because I don't think I know I don't want that big schoolhouse that's that's just way too big I'm not sure I want the big bus because I kind of wanted to put these frames around and put their name in them and then put this sticker on the inside of the frame with their grade but I'm not sure that that Eh, that's not going to work. So it would be okay if the frames didn't have um, decor in them. So now what do we want to do? Let's see. Because I like them spaced like that. So let's put... I'll have to check that deco sheet and make sure that I didn't... So I put that on something, not realizing that it said school bus backwards. Must be in my planner. My goodness. Okay. So let's put, let's put that there. And we'll put that there. And then I pulled these smaller sheets because I want to put I want to put these pencils here. I thought that would be cute. I was gonna do bullet points down the, or just, you know, the, the circles. I did that in a spread, I don't know, um, a couple of weeks ago, and I really liked that. It added some color down the spine, but you didn't have to re-punch, you didn't have to do any of that. So. And so this will do the same thing. It'll add some color down the down the spine, especially since this is a plain sheet of cardstock. And this is just um, lightweight cardstock. I'm not sure what the weight on it is. I get it from Amazon, and I think it's linked down in my um, description. If not, ask, and I'll add it to the description if I forget to look. Yeah, that's kind of cute. Okay, so let's put those aside. Okay, so do we want to put, maybe put this big pencil here. So now let's see what we want to do. So if we do, if we kind of space them out and put them even like that. Stop laying everywhere. Okay, so we've got 12th grade. Now, I know I want those there, so let's just go ahead and put those down so then I can plan around them. And I use an app called PhotoGrid for my pictures and do a four by six collage. Save it to my phone, upload it to the Walgreens app, have it printed, and pick it up on my way home from work. And I know that's not convenient for everyone, but that's what works for me. They usually have a coupon in the app. I mean, in, 
these pictures aren't that expensive anyway. But it's like 39 cents a picture or something. This is my gummy eraser. It'll take off, um, like if I get this on the edge of the picture, run it across the edge and it'll take it off. Or if you have some sticker residue left after you peel a sticker up. Okay, so we've got that. There's still a little bit left right there. Now, if you get it on the front of the picture, it doesn't like to come off of that. Okay, so let's do... We have 12th grade, we have I'm just going to scatter them, I'm not going to, because um, I know who the kids are. So 12th, 10th, 7th. I guess we could do, yeah, maybe we should just, well, no, because I only have one sixth grade sticker and I've got two in sixth grade. So let's do seventh grade, sixth grade, and then we have a preschool. How do I want to do that? See if this will peel up. Probably will not off of. Nope, I didn't think it would. Off the cardstock. Okay, so where do I want to put, I guess we'll just put it, we'll put it right there. So let's go through, so we have, should already have these pulled out. Okay, so we have Ashlyn is 10th grade. Bentley is in sixth. That's, that's the downside of doing um, cardstock is once your sticker is down, you're not moving it. And I don't have any undo, so I don't know if it if it works on these or not. to make me a new Colton sheet. So why his aren't peeling. I don't know. But I'm tired of messing with it. Let's see if these will peel better. There we go. Okay, so we've got Colton in seventh. Schooler. And then we have Madison. I only have one that's not in school right now. Okay, so I think the only other thing I need. is a 2024 sticker so we will use one of these or I have have these 
these. So do I want to use a green one or do I want to use a black one? I think, I think I'm going to use one of these black ones. Oh, I don't like that. Let's put it on the pencil. That'll work. Okay, so now let's use some of this deco that we still have. Let me pull this up. Um, I don't think I want to use those pencils, especially since I've got all the pencils down there. So let's do, I'll just add some of this deco around. What else do we have? I don't know if I want any more school buses and school houses since I have that down there. I guess we could put that there. I don't really don't have anything else. I have this apple from this one. that I like that though but maybe we'll just put it right there and I think we're done I think that looks pretty cute so out of the way. so if you like this video hit the like button if you'd like to see more of my videos hit the subscribe button and I will see you in my next one thanks for watching bye